in case you forgot what happened yesterday, I want to take a look back at Titans at Colts. Ryan Tannehill and the Titans looking to get right against the Colts after taking that L in Week 10. First quarter game tied at 7. Titans ball. It was first and 15. Tannehill to A.J. Brown. You already know. 69 yards for the touchdown. Brown now has a receiving touchdown in seven of the last eight games. Are you kidding me? Out of control. Second quarter now. Titans lead by 7. First and 10. Come on. Derrick Henry does not care how many guys are in his way. That was his third TD of the game, en route to a 28-14 victory. Here's part of the Royal Court, A.J. Brown. Derrick shows up every game. He does what he, he does what he's supposed to do. Uh, and he's a great he's a great running back and a great teammate. Hey, Derrick for MVP. Two touchdowns for you today, including one on the onside kick. You practice the hands team stuff all the time. What goes through your head when you get your hands on the ball? Uh, he just told me to be aggressive, uh, attack the ball. Uh, the lane opened up. It parted like the Red Sea, so I just I just scored a touchdown. <laughs> So the AFC playoff picture looks a little sight, something like this. The Titans are now the three seed in the AFC in first place in the AFC South. The Colts are in the seven seed, and they are two of six teams in the AFC with three or four losses. David, Carr, and Mooch, I'll send it over to you guys for more on that Titans-Colts game. Hey, MJ, thank you. Yeah, a couple of great teams in the AFC South. David, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, the Colts won that game against the Titans. And now two weeks later, they flip this thing and the Titans put a 40-burger on this guy. What did you see? A pretty good defense, right? Yeah. I mean, the Colts are pretty solid. So what I saw is, is complimentary football to Derrick Henry. Sometimes when you talk about the Titans, you just talk about Derrick Henry. But I'm going to show you three plays and what makes this team complete. First play right here is, is a little bit of miscommunication, but your good teammates bail each other out. So the center slides away. You end up having a free guy right in the A-gap. All right, Ryan Tannehill can easily bounce this. He could check, he take the check down, but he stays in the pocket and makes a great, accurate throw to A.J. Brown, who A.J. Brown's playing fantastic football, as we saw. Gets it on him, and then he does the rest. Untouched, the rest of the, the, the play is now over. This guy's fantastic after the catch. But it started with Ryan Tannehill and really standing there and not taking any excuses, making a play. This is great also. Do your job, right? This harkens back to a little bit of their head coach's background with the, the Patriots. This is cover three. you got to trust yourself. Safety's in the middle. you got to see him coming up the field because of the disguise. Phillip Rivers is late, but he also trusts his underneath guys. Malcolm Butler trusts that his linebackers will take care of those outside throws so he can be aggressive mid-pointing, makes a play on the football, ends up being an interception and a short field for your offense. And this last one, it's exactly what you want versus cover four. You got T.Y. Hilton running the top off the coverage. Maybe you got a shot at the post. You got an outbreaking route by your number two receiver. And you, you got a guy in position where, yeah, you maybe have a chance to throw this out right over his head. But it's great defense because even though Phillip Rivers might even make the right throw here, at the point of attack, there are three defenders rallying to the football, and all of them have a chance to make a break on it, hit the, hit the offensive guy, make a play. They're playing fantastic team defense. They're playing complimentary football on the offensive side when they throw the football. Just a lot of fun to watch on a great football team. Yeah, they really are getting better, too. I like what you say, supporting cast, because let's just face it, who are they supporting? Yeah, the, right. the big guy, Derek Henry, right. the stiff arm you right here. He had 178 <laughs> yards in this game against the Colts, who some people think are the, the best defense in the national right. football. Didn't have DeForest Buckner. But the guy is leading with 1,200 over 1,200 yards of uh, rushing this year. He led the league last year. And you know what? He's just hard to, to tackle. He wears you down. He's better in the second half than he is in the first half. I love his quarterback because they're good at play action pass. This is a dangerous football team. And that big guy is hard to tackle. And he's fun to watch because he's the biggest thing that we've seen in the backfield in a long, long time. And I just got to tell you, MJ, you know, we have a couple quarterbacks that are in the MVP category right but this guy is leading the league in rushing the last time a running back made the MVP was Adrian Peterson 2012 this guy's on pace for over 1800 yards MJ back to you